Okay, so today we're going to work on the song Ole Ole. It's a Hebrew song by Oshra Tamotal. I'm going to be doing this with my little choir. So let's start that. So Keshetola Bamarom Keshetola Bamarom Orva Tvelet Bashamayim Veyore Vevetayom Ananim Havzulemayim Umechayech Lechulom Here we go! Ole Ole! Ashir Biyachad Keshet Simcha Balev Kshiha Simcha Kshiha Simcha Balev Horachad Ole Ole Ashir Biyachad Gatol Vekatan Kmo Keshet Be'anam Now we have a second verse. Zela Zerot Sim Lageshet Yachad Mevakshim Lachlom Ish Le Ish Rok Mim Pokeshet Elef Tzvaim Lashalom Kach Baim Lashir Halayla Me Arba Katz Ve Olam Asim Chabalev Lo Daila Rega Shelor Lechulam Ole Ole Ashir Biyachad Kshar Simcha Balev Orachat Ole Ole Ashir Biyachad Gadol Vekatan Kmo Keshet Benan Maybe we'll end Kmo Keshet Benan Kmo Keshet Benan Ole Ole Ashir Biyachad Kshar Simcha Balev Porachat Ole 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 Ashir Biyachad Gadol Vekatan I end every Hebrew song with that take, but what can I do? <laughs> That's not going to work. Anyway, so this is our first try through. It's a little high for me. I think it's going to be a good key for my key, for my choir. Do, my, you know, do minor, C minor. It's probably a good key for my class. However, actually... Maybe not, because it yeah, um, might be a little high for them. So maybe we'll go down to B flat minor. I think that'll be good. I'll just use my little transpose button down too. Let's start again from the top. From the top. Mm, I'm going to play in C minor, transpose minus two. It's already doing that. Are we in an EQ adjust? So that melody is Second 
Zella zerotzim la geshet, yachad mevakshim lachlom. Ish le ish rokmim pokeshet, elef tzvaim la shalom. Kach ba'im la shir alayla, me arba katz ve'olam. Hasim chabar lev lo daila, lo daila, it's not enough for her. Oh, asimcha balev lo daila, rega shel orlech, rega shel orlech. Ulam, rega shel orlech, ulam. My American accent is called rega, no, rega. It's either rega or rega or rega. Pick one of three. You're in the north, south, or the west. Rega, rega shel orlech, rega shel orlech, ulam. Rega shel orlech, ulam. Coming to the end of a song again. Crotches in bed. Come on, kiss it, bit. Come on, kiss it, bit. Come on, kiss it, bit. All right, I think we got this song. Practice makes perfect. All right. Ole, ole, I keep thinking, oy ve, oy ve. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, from the top. B flat minor, written in C minor in my book here. If you want the sheet music, you can send me five bucks. serious than I am. Porachat, ole ole, hashir biyachag el ol vekatan. Coming to the second, second verse, kmo keshet be'anan. Breathe. Give another measure. Zela zerotzim la keshet, yachad mevakshim lachlom. Ish le ish rok mim po keshet, elef tzvaim la shalom. Kach ba'im l'ashir halayla Me'arba katz ve'olam Ha'asim chabar lev lo daila Rekha shel or l'chulam Oy ve, oy ve, ashir b'yachad I mean, if they sing for an old age home, you think they're going to care if they sing oy ve or ole? Nobody cares! We're going to have fun. If the kids want to do it, they'll do it. I'm just an alta caca coming to help them, whatever they have to do there. Hashir biyach ha'gadol v'katan Kamo keshet be'anna I like that, I could play this song all day long. Oh, but let's see if I can transpose that sight now. Be'yoret lefetayom yoyan Anan, I'm transposing a half step Be serious, David. Getting used to the song. You know what? I don't mind the uh, the key of C sharp minor. It's always that in between key, for God's sakes. Well, that's actually a pretty good exercise for me to play it in C sharp minor. All right. From the top, here we go from the top. Everybody, now let's get very serious. Oh. I like going 
so they have to manage to be your Schmapple pencil. What ever happened? What is this doing here? Is this it? It works. All right, let's get those. Let's get those chords in there. That's nice. Um. Or, or, but, or, but, I have the name that's on the flat here. Plus eleven. Like it. You can do fat. I like that. Sharp diminished. Write that as an option. E diminished. Little in between chord. I like that F minor sixth over there on that second half of the measure. I can throw in that. I don't think that's going to work. Could work if I get it early. I like a descending bass line there. Be flat. Minor eleven. Oh, too jazzy. I don't know. That's kind of okay. F minus seven to B flat. Mm. I should be a I'm playing in two different keys. It's confusing here. Let me just play in this key. And now you're in the oh. I should be a jazz and we won't go to that B flat so early. Hmm. Maybe I can go down to the F minor later. Ole, ole, I should be Maybe that'll be a better solution. Go to the F minor seven in the middle of the measure. That's a good way. Ole, ole, I should be I like the sus chord A flat over B flat. That's what we call a good mistake. It's just like my finger hit that chord. It's like, wow. That B flat augmented. Sometimes good mistakes happen like that. Make sure you put a plus five over there. We got the arrangement.
If you want to do that, I'll put it as an option on top of the chord F minor 11 to B flat in parentheses. Gondola, Herbie Hancock, boy, sing. Plus five. And we can go to the C minor six there. That's good. You know the measure here. Two, three, four. Put a G7 plus there in that middle measure. That's a nice little chord there in between C minor and just throwing the flat five there with the seventh. Just a direct hit in from G7 to E flat. I like I like the C sharp diminished seven there. Do F minor six or you could do B flat seven. A couple options there. I like the half diminished there. Is a great variant on an F minor is just put the third in the bass line. And then the bass line is right there for you. You could do F minor six over A flat. You gotta put all those G7s in there. A lot of bass lines are right there. That's arranging for you. F minor C. If you want to do a C7, then you got to change the melody of the. You do maybe a sharp nine chord. It's a bittersweet. It's really a nice option. C7 plus 9. Plus 5 and the plus 9. I can do I don't know you like that. I guess I could write E minus seven. E flat diminish seven and then G over B. As that little Ole Ole Bay, I should be your heart, I should be your heart, Chance and Cover, Chance and Cover, Chance and Cover. Let's write that option in Chance and Cover, the Moon, the plus five is already in the melody, but I'll. Definitely draws attention when you throw in a variation. We know that. 
Go to that. You can do it A flat major nine. Just as a variant. That's a really. Like a D half diminished eleventh. You just write D half diminished and the melody takes care of the eleventh, but if you want to be cool and you write the eleventh in it. That's some massive little piece of work there, so you can see all that. Uh, no, not easy to see that. All right, well. I could share that arrangement with you guys. At least that for paying attention to all this process. I don't know. All of this, you know, work that I'm doing in doing this arrangement, it just gets me to know the song a lot better. Even at the beginning, I wouldn't mind having that. That's an interesting option. Because the B flat 13 has, B flat 13 9 has, B flat 13 9. Hold on, I'm not sure. Now, once we get into. Maybe you wanted feta it should be an A flat plus eleven or something, so there's a descending bass line, some sort of logic to the insanity. I really like that. Oh, you know what that is? That's that A flat sharp eleven, but with the thirteen. 13 plus 11. Heaven's the mugature of Now a little sanity. Put an E diminished there. I would change the F minor to F minor 6 on the third beat of the bar. Where are we? Wonder if C minor six works okay. C minor six. <clears throat> Let's give it a try. More interesting than plain old. We are the Really bittersweet chord. Part of it is because if you're taking an old song and you're revising it, revamping it, got to give it a little bit of, you know, like you give it a paint job, you know? I'm giving this this thing a paint job. I definitely have to put this in the description. At least that, at least that for paying attention is definitely one of my music theory things. It's for my choir, but it's also for the music theory people. It's actually a great idea. I use this for my theory class. It's like giving quantum physics to a six-year-old. Whatever. They'll, at least they'll catch on to something. I gotta 
make a lesson plan for them too. It's getting hot in here. If I want to throw in that canoodle. The F is in the melody. Cash at C minor six, which is an inversion of half diminished. We get into that in one of my theory videos. See? See, here's the half diminished. A, C, E flat, G, C, E flat, G, A, W. Love it. Come, Sie, Tab, Maestro. in why by changing harmony as an actor what do you do that's the whole theory of expression I think I have a video on that all right this is cool I need that B flat chord there. That's what we have an eraser for. All right, there comes a concept B flat 13 9, and then we can go to the A flat plus 11 there on that if you want. You don't even need to. Once you get your fingers on, let's see what happens if we want that F sharp diminished. X through that. Well, I'll keep it there as a memory. I don't want to totally forget that idea. Yeah, just be creative. It's great. You know, just once you jump onto an idea, you do it, you go for it. It's fantastic. I mean, this is how you, you know, just go through the process. And you guys are just helping me out, paying attention to my process. I was just like, what do I do today? Uh, okay, then what about Ole Ole? I saw that on one of my videos. And I'm going to redo it now for my choir. I gotta remind myself not to rush. I remember meeting a guy who played on a cruise ship. It was like, for old people, slow it down. And just in general, I have to stop being that hyper little yeshiva boy. And also, com combination with my sugar diet as a child. Here we go, slow it down. Orva is my friend, please. They are even if I put my finger on A flat C and D. That's a hard measure. So it's. A flat, my middle finger, down to D. I mean, that, that 
C minor six. That was some discovery. It's cool. You don't think those kids are gonna love singing with me once they get those cool courses? Like, wow. Titrachu, make yourself new again. I'm not getting anywhere here. I'm still on the first damn measure. It's cool, don't rush. Ole, ole, pull it back the rain, the yaka, that's in Kaba. Shells in Kaba. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Shells in Kaba, B flat seven, and then the plus five on the next beat. Ba, B flat seven plus. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Carnegie Hall. Practice, practice, and more practice. Ole, ole. I should be a Carnegie. I like that of minor seven there. Ole, ole. I should be a Carnegie. Yeah, we don't need just too much going on. That's what I gotta. Less is better sometimes. Only I should be a conscious in Kabale. Oh, only I should be a Kagadol. God, I look at them. Come on, you should be. And we're on to the races. Zella, zero, zero, la geshe, la geshe. Zero, 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 zero. Should I teach them that too? I love that A flat in the bass there. Yeah. That's a funny G, a funny looking G there. Clean it up, it's going to be easier to read later. Throwing all the bells and whistles, F minor sixth over A flat. I'm just dying for that B flat. Sorry, bye bye A flat, sharp 11, big shot. I'm sticking with B flat 139. Then instead of F minor on the next bar, you could throw in that French augmented A flat plus 11. There's probably a video on French augmented chords. Where is that minor six that I loved? Yeah, that was Kesha Dalabaram. That was it there. I had an F minor six in the measure before. I want to do a variant instead of We already did that before What's interesting about this chord Is that it's one that I didn't use yet It's an A flat 7 It's just a variant on the I could use any of these chords I could do the minor major That's also interesting Wow it's actually very nice. 
let's call it, I'm just going to put a C minor major. Let's put it in for later. Remember that C sharp word? six at the end and then repeat until ad libitum ad insanium put a g in the bass there makes you want to play it again one more time there sir something about it i'll buy you a beer if you play that song again translation for that word. you under my skin now i got this song under my skin oy vey oy vey we call it ole ole i got a i don't have a masterpiece here i would call it a monster piece a monster piece this is what i get i get a monster piece i like it it's a great tune why is it not going back there it is that's great you guys want me to share a share a uh, share a score with you guys i'm happy to you put up with me for all this time i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure that i put this in the description below <clears throat> Please remember to like and subscribe. Even if you don't like it, subscribe anyway, like it anyway, whatever. Just uh, give me a flavor. This is a long watch, <clears throat> but it's interesting, you know. It's That's one of the things that seems to appear in my, seems to be part of my video process is that for those people who are willing to wait, because I don't edit everything, it's just too time consuming. But there are some cute surprises when you watch my stuff. I've got my, my little following. I've got like 15,000, 18,000 views a month, but I don't have, have enough watch time. <clears throat> um, I've got about 1,000 hours of watch time, and I need 4,000 hours on YouTube. <clears throat> so there you have it. I'm not going to edit. I'm going to spend time bopping out more videos. Ole, ole. Thank you so much for watching. And... Have a great day. Enjoy it. Memorize the song. I'm going to get the translation up there. Probably make another video. Always something to do. Here's the Ole Ole video.